Well, good evening and happy Sunday to you. I'm meteorologist Brian Lashbrook, and as we enter in the final hours of our Sunday, there is still a chance we may see a couple strong to severe storms, a possibility as we still have a level 3 out of 5 enhanced risk there in that yellow, in that orange color rather, from our more northern and northwestern areas. That would be, like the, I think, the corridor where we might see the greatest risk for severe storms this evening, but we do have a slight risk of a 2 out of 5 elsewhere in that yellow color. We, we, where we may see some more storms as we go into the overnight hours, but I'll much more on that in a second. Out the door right now, though, all is pretty quiet here in Baton Rouge as about 6 uh, and 6.10 this evening. You're seeing cloudy skies out there as well, a few showers off into the distance, and it's still on the warmer side at 76 degrees here in Baton Rouge, and dew points up into the upper 60s, so a little bit on that humid side as well to end our Sunday. So here's current weather radar as of 6.10. You see these kind of... Widespread uh, like sh uh, light showers out there, more so scattered in nature, kind of across our area, more so these light scattered showers. Most of the storm activity, however, is off to our north and northwest, and that's where it mainly has been for most of this afternoon and most of this evening as well, and that's kind of where the threat will persist. Through this evening is again for our more northern areas where you see some of these storms kind of training on each other, kind of bringing that flash flooding threat. We do have some flash flooding warnings, uh, for instance, one over Alexandria and one as well up near uh, uh, more northern areas southwest of Jackson. So most of the storm activity is up there, but we'll still have a chance for some, maybe a couple strong storms over this tornado watch area. So this tornado watch is still into effect until 7 p.m. Now, the Storm Prediction Center has noted that they, as a possibility that they may expand this time for this tornado watch as we go through this evening, more of this main corridor of threat level from more northwestern areas could possibly still see that severe threat for an isolated tornado or two. It's still a possibility through this evening. So, again, make sure you do have ways to receive those watches, warnings, and alerts for sure as the tornado watch is still into effect for right now for our more northwestern parishes and counties, including Point Capi Parish, uh, both west and east Feliciana parishes, and our southwest Mississippi counties as well. And so it's kind of time out this rain chance for you and the storm threat. Here's the HRR model. As we go through this evening, still seeing some of these light showers kind of developing over Baton Rouge or over more southern areas. And you see most of the storm activity you see mostly near this warm front off to the north. So there is a like chance that some of those storms may clip on more northern and northwestern areas. Again, that will be the area of greatest concern to watch for this evening. But going through tonight though, most of that activity will begin to move east and move off to the northeast. May see a few more showers by midnight or so over the area and then some model guidance does hint that we may see some more storm and shower development along the cold front as we go through the overnight hours say 2 4 a.m now there is a non-zero chance where we may see some damaging wind gusts with some of these storms and rumbles of thunder some lightning possibility and can't rule out maybe our brief tornado as well so again just make sure you have those phones turned on to wait and to get if you can get those alerts too through the overnight hours now into tomorrow morning however a few light showers or so by daybreak and then by tomorrow midday most of that rain should be begin to move out of here so we hang on to some clouds however through the afternoon but our winds will be rather breezy as you go through most of your Lundy Grand for your Monday. So tonight, as the cold front begins to move through, our temperature is falling down to the upper 40s and lower 50s by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. Again, a few showers out there, kind of lingering showers. And then we're mainly on the dry side by tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow evening with high temperatures on the cool side too. Upper 50s and lower to mid 60s out there. And winds will be rather breezy from the northwest around 15 to 20 miles per hour with wind gusts. Possibly up to about that 25 to 30 mile per hour range too. So heading toward the crew of Shenandoah that kicks off at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Definitely going to want to bring the jacket because we're going to be looking at temperatures into the lower 50s and upper 40s. And then you factor in that wind, it's going to feel like the lower 40s out there. So, rain will be gone by then tomorrow evening, but it will be rather chilly. So, make sure you do dress warm for the crew of Shenandoah tomorrow here in Baton Rouge as well. So, next few days, as you go through this, this work week, really nice and pleasant out there. High temperatures in the 60s, gradually warming by Thursday or so. Morning still chilly in the 30s by Wednesday morning too. And we're mainly on the dry side for the next three days or so. And then rain does come back to the forecast as we head through your Friday and to your Saturday as right now looking like more of a rain event than a storm event but one thing to keep an eye on for sure as you go through the rest of this work week.